Yo, 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 what's going on guys, your boy is Pilot 2K7 and we are back with another firefighting episode. As you can see, we are out here in Blaine County, part of the Blaine County Fire Department, Fire and Rescue. And um, we actually have a, we have a brush fire going on guys, so I'm going to go ahead and respond to the brush fire. I'm going to be using a brand new vehicle by Candace. I've um, been using a lot of her vehicles lately. She's been doing an amazing job, so shout outs to her. So here we have a Dodge uh, Ram pickup truck chassis that has been outfitted with brush fire uh, equipment here, as you can see. So this is going to be a brush unit 224. We have a hook in the front. We have our own nozzle there as well. So we actually spray water, which is pretty cool. Got the light bar, antenna, spotlights nice heavy duty tires for going off road where regular fire trucks cannot go which is pretty cool got some cones up there got some more lights got a hose in case we got to get up close and personal a ladder just in case we need to get on top of anything we have another roll up hose right on top as well a smaller hand line attack line there and um yeah so let's go ahead and check this out it's going to be the Dodge Ram 3500 turbo diesel. Let me know what you guys think about this model here. So, um, yeah, guys, let's go ahead and respond now. Um, we're going to have to respond over here. So it should be a nice short response. There are units on scene already. So let's go ahead and head over there. Check out the interior really quick. Got some lights. Alright, we're good. Alright, let's turn our lights on. And let's get ready to roll out, guys. Alright, here we go. So I'm just going to take this straight to the highway. You guys are going to see a lot of those um, Silverados because I have that in a civilian slot. But um, yeah, we're jumping on the highway now about a mile out. Come on, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I have a couple more ideas for these um, wildfire type videos. So if you guys do want to see some more of them, definitely let me know by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below if you do enjoy this video. So this fire is pretty bad, not sure if we're going to be able to put it out, I'm not sure if you guys know, but in real life, a lot of wildfires, once they get like to a certain point, you can't really put them out with conventional methods, um, they kind of burn for a long time, like some can burn for weeks, or even like a whole month, so depending on how bad this one is, we may just have to try to contain it. Um, if it's really bad, we're probably going to need air support, so we may need to call it like a helicopter or probably helicopters to um, help drop some water on it. Alright, so here's a scene. Looks like we got the Los Santos Police Department, also the Sheriff Department is on scene. Alright, so we got police is here, we got sheriffs are here. This must be like the EMS station area over here. So we got EMS is on scene. San Andreas Medical Service, Los Santos Fire Department. Try to just wiggle my way through here. All right. Good thing about this brush truck, we can get through bushes pretty easily with this nice push bar here. All right. So we have a lot of other fire trucks on scene already obviously these trucks can't really get all up in there um say so yeah, the blaine county fire department is on scene we got some smoke over there uh, the white smoke is kind of a good sign that means we're getting water on the fire 
Uh, if it was black smoke, that means it's kind of burning more. So yeah, we kind of see some of the fire over here as well. Alright, so this fire is burning pretty bad here. Um, let's just head over here real quick. So it looks like we have some more police, more fire trucks. And it looks like they have this whole area shut down. More police and sheriffs over there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to see if we could try to help contain this fire to the best of our ability here. So we do have our water cannon. So let's go ahead and just spray a little bit of water on this thing. Now we don't have unlimited water in this truck so we do have to somewhat be careful. Not be careful but we kind of have to somewhat conserve. Alright let's get all up in here. Let's try to knock out this wildfire here. Uh, I can't aim this. Oh, I thought I could aim this. Alright so we're going to have to kind of steer in the way direction that we want this thing to go. Alright, so like I said, the white smoke is a good sign. That means we're getting water on the fire. Alright, so definitely containing the fire here. I wish I could just aim this. If I could aim this, that would be so much cooler. Whoops. Yeah, I definitely can't aim it. I know there is another brush truck model that we used in the past. I believe it was off of a Ford chassis. I know with that one you can aim it. So I'm wondering if you if I use like the the meta files and stuff from that Ford truck would it make the nozzle work on this truck like make the nozzle be able to move around alright so yeah this fire is not going out like I said we're just really trying to contain it make sure it doesn't spread oh we got fire trucks on this side too I didn't even know there was trucks on this side Got more trucks over here. Lots and lots of smoke, guys. These trees could come down, so we gotta be really careful out here. Okay, so we have more fire trucks over here. Looks like we got some equipment in the middle of the street. This is pretty cool. I didn't even know they were over here. Should probably cut off traffic on this side, so let's close traffic down. Let's continue to fight this fire. So yeah, we have a whole scene over here too. Wow. Alright, here we go. Alright, so like I said, that white smoke is a good sign. Oh, this trailer is on fire. Oh, look at the freaking fire all the way up there, too. Yeah, once this fire gets in all these trees, we're not going to be able to knock it down with hand lines. We're going to definitely need the helicopters to come help out. So if you guys would like to see me try to fight this fire with the helicopters, definitely let me know. This is a really big fire. Alright, so I got more fire department standing by over here, more police over here. I did not know so many units were on scene. Alright, we got a light smoke over here, but this fire is pretty much extinguished, so we can drive through this here. 
like I said, with this big ram bar, we kind of just push over all these bushes and plants. Oh, that deer gotta get out of here. Oh, we got more fire and trees over here. I'm not gonna be able to reach it with this, but kind of just want to soak the area to prevent it from spreading. Oh! Holy crap! Oh crap! We got a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Oh crap. Oh crap. I don't think we're gonna be able to save this. <laughs> uh, where the heck is the fire extinguisher at? Oh crap. Shit. I guess there was fire burning over there. I did not see. Oh my god, the fire is getting closer. Alright, we need a fire extinguisher for real. I don't even have my freaking jacket on or nothing. Crap. This episode just went south. Oh my god, I don't think we're gonna be able to fix this truck. Oh! Shit! Stop drop a roll! Stop drop a roll! Stop drop a roll! Oh my god, this fire. These wildfires are really dangerous in real life, and I salute the men and women that fight these things because. They could move so quickly, and it's sad. A lot of people have died Shit. fighting these things, man. Oh, man. That was not supposed to happen, but hey, we're just gonna... We'll just leave it in. It is what it is. Alright, let's try to survey the rest of this fire here. We have to actually put on our full uniform here. Alright, let's see if we could survey the rest of this. Okay, we got other guys over here that are helping out with the fire at least. Alright, you guys okay? Be careful man, this fire can really spread. Be careful guys. Alright, we're gonna work this with some hand lines here. I got that out. Be careful guys, be careful. It is really intense in here. Look how heavy the smoke is. Oh! Oh! I stepped on it! I stepped on it again! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Alright, we need to freaking fall back before we die here. Alright, let's fall back a little bit. Alright, so our breast truck is destroyed. Um, that was not supposed to happen, but hey. Stuff happens. I didn't realize I drove right over the fire. Alright, we still have a lot more fire in here. We're going to need to get in here with some shovels and saws and rakes and try to stop this thing from spreading. The main problem are these damn trees are so freaking big. That's going to be the main problem there. Alright guys, so yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, as you can see, we did not... We were not able to put out this fire. This fire is way out of control. Uh, we're going to have to request an air unit to come by and probably help fight this from the air because this is pretty much out of control. So thank you guys for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoy this episode. Shout out to Candace for making an awesome uh, model there. And I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I am going to definitely use some more of her models because she has a lot of cool custom ideas and vehicles so we can make a lot of cool custom videos from her vehicles so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed make sure you hit that like button make sure you leave a comment down below make sure you subscribe as well thank you guys we had 151,000 subscribers today still can't believe that we're doing really well so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one peace